I think if we ever... Ooh, purty. Oh my god. Oh, they're leaves. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> they're aliens. I think if we ever do, like, play outside of the general South... Southern California area. Mm -mm. Oh, he's here! I was talking, mister! Mm -hmm. Shut up! Picture now it's my turn! <laughs> it's se it's seven o'clock sharp! <laughs> you, <what> you <laughs> <said>? <laughs> I'm a pornographic genius, what is this, what the hell? Now turn around and bend over! I'm pornographic genius! <laughs> turn and spread! <laughs> turn. Get ready for the instant memory! <laughs> <laughs> For an instant memory! You're mm. doing the French well, thing! What, what, what did Abraka Daniel say? He's like, turn and push! Turn and push. <laughs> <laughs> what a silly, silly man. Do you remember Abraka Daniel from uh, Adventure Time? His... Yeah. The weak ass. <laughs> yeah. This guy's a wuss, man. Did, have you watched the episode with the scream? The scream? The scream. The screen? The scream. Uh, the screen. Are you talking about the wizard battle? Yeah, the wizard battle. Yeah, with I the power the streak. Battle, yeah. <laughs> Fucking oh, you use that the power was... streak? The, yeah. yeah. The most like, shameful of all magic. Yeah. Screaming. <laughs> <laughs> that is a great photograph. I love to bring back the fondest memories. <laughs> what a fine ass. <laughs> but yeah, so if we ever like play outside of SoCal, I'd want to stay in an area for like longer than like a day or so. I don't know. I, ju I just feel it'd be cool. Like if we, if we go to like New York or if we go to Nashville, we play like a number of venues in the area rather than just like packing up immediately. I feel it'd be way less stressful. <clears throat> Probably less expensive too in terms of gas. I think Wait, I would also right? like a day between shows to recover. Oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. I don't know. It would, it would almost be like a residency. Like we're in Nashville for a week and then we're in like n in New York for a week. It's like I mentioned, we, there was that uh, festival that... Uh, Metallica played where they headlined two nights, but they had like a day off in between. Like, yeah, that'd be cool to like play a big thing like that, but have the day off in between to kind of enjoy it. Yeah, I'd be so thing. down for that, dude. Do I just use it? Is it one time use? Do I quit? What is it? Defense spray? Oh no, you use that during battle. Oh, is it, that it, it raises your defense. Like so, what now? Where's temporary? Where's, where's, where's Tessie? Where's you want, you're gonna want to go up because around here you're gonna find something that's gonna help you uh, activate Tessie. Activate my trap card. <laughs> it's the Tessie color. I still want to do that because I remember the one time we played that song. It was actually really fun. What? Dead Eye Delilah. Remember? I don't remember how it go? I mean, I remember how the chorus went in terms of my lyrics, but I don't remember how the song. Went. Oh, Dead Eye. Oh, it was the it was the song about a blow up doll. I, yeah, I thought. I was just, I was singing about that, the Plain White Tea song, and I was like, what? Dead what? Eye Delilah, won't you inflate for me once more? <laughs> and that's why I was like so confused. I was like, what? <laughs> oh. Jeff is growing stronger by the second. Yeah. <laughs> He's gonna get ripped. He's gonna get ripped. To the drugstore. Do you guys ever go? use Tumblr? Tumblr? Oh, yeah. Uh, I never had an account, but I've been on the website. Is it cool? I mean, I just look at art. Oh. I don't know. I, I The only thing I know about Tumblr, aside from the fact that it, there might be art there, um, you, you, you seem to confirm the suspicion of mine. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that there's like... People, people have created this entirely new funny. sense of humor and delivery. Oh my god, That's he cool. looks very handsome. <laughs> he, looks, he looks way different from oh how I, I remember the gruff goat looking on the, the DSi game, or the 3DS game. DSi, I have not heard that in a long time. My yeah. bad. He just, it does not look like the same sprite. Oh, I just misremember? It's the probably. Yeah, probably. But yeah, is, is, uh, people in the audience, comment below, is Tumblr cool? <laughs> I think it, it's cool for teenagers. Is it? Oh, yeah, then so that won't work we'll for use me. it. Y'all mean? Yeah, I'm in. Oh, here's the boo boo. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Kiki! Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna wanna buy some gum. Oh, it's. Nope, not that. Should probably eat a cookie, though. Yeah. Maybe two. The Queen of Silence. 2,500? Oh yeah, that's a really powerful item. Wait, but where's the... Where's the gun? I don't know. Maybe I... you have to ask somebody for it. What? 
<laughs> Take the one. He's really noisy. If you buy a pack of bubble gum, you can have them you're free. Otherwise, it'll cost you bucks. Do you want them? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta eat a cookie. If we all would just look to the cookie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why do all Nintendo monkeys look the same? <laughs> What monkey does that look like? Oh, it does kind of look like Kiki from Mario Party. Yeah, and slash Mario 64. And Mario 64, yeah. There's also a monkey in in the Link's Awakening. Yeah, that looks like that. Give me some gum. The monkey got a piece of bubblegum. Ew, gray. <laughs> <laughs> That's just perfect. Yeah, there's also a monkey in Mother 3 that looks like that, too. Well, I mean, it's the same series, so. <laughs> the, only, the only monkey that doesn't look like that is the ones from Twilight Princess, because those are ugly. What about the... I like the ones from Twilight Princess. They were, like, slightly realistic. What is it? Nasty. Is it called? Is it called Monkey Ball? That... Super Monkey Ball? Yeah. It's a Sega game. They look Sega. They look kind of different in the, in the Super Monkey Ball series. But is there a monkey in those? Yes. There's four. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> there's I I, there's Mimi, there's Baby, there's Gone Gone? Gone Gone, and then there's a doctor. There's I Diddy, think the doctor there's is Diddy, just there's called Dixie, doctor. there's, there's Funky, there's Grumpy, there's Dopey, there's Doc, <laughs> there's, there's Smokey. Funky has the Funky Kong's the one that goes, yeah! <laughs> Funky Kong's the one that goes, <laughs> <laughs> on his guitar. <laughs> <laughs> God, I just wanna... I can't wait for that Donkey Kong game that might come out this year. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that's supposed to be by the, the team that leads the, led Odyssey, right? Yeah. That would be cool. I hope it's a 3D one, but I'm okay if it's a 2D one. I would I would be super psyched for that, honestly. Okay, and we, gotta, we also gotta play Tropical Freeze. Oh, that'd be cool. It's such a good fucking game. Uh, is that the one that came after Donkey Kong Country Returns? Yeah. Makes sense. It's really good. It's probably one of the nice. best 2D platforms I've ever played. Ooh, I can't wait. Uh, I re Ooh. That monkey just kind of fucking... He just stuck. He, he stuck. Yeah, he's erratic. Oh no, crow! He's an addict. I really want to play the original Doom with you guys on here. Because I've never played it before. Hmm. I've been playing Doom, tw Doom 2016 and it's been really fucking fun. Uh, but I don't have anything to go off of in terms of the classic Dooms. Uh, I played Doom 2016 first as well. But I like the original Doom way more. Yeah, 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 you told me that. I was like, I'm not sure. I'm, I mean, I'm sure that you like it, but I'm not not sure how I dig it just because I, 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 I'm going to sound like a, like a wee lad when I say this. But for, for some reason, most of the time, I dig the aesthetic of newer games from older series. If you know what I mean. Mm. I uh, think so. Huh? I think so. I, I'm, I'm trying like to find you, it. You like the... You you like the design and everything about the older games, but you like it to be modernized. Yeah, like like same thing with the Zelda games. Like, there's only like one of the older Zelda games that I really like. Uh, that's Ocarina of Time. Um, I mean, I like not Ocarina of Time. The, what am I saying? I know Link it's to the past. Link yeah, past. I was like the fact that you called Ocarina of Time older made yeah. me age thirty pounds. <laughs> you grew a beard just like that, Grandpa. <laughs> yeah, that was me. No, no, but yeah. So I I really love fucking um. Link to the Past. Okay, With uh, his pink hair. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. He has he has fucking bubblegum hair. Yeah. Um that's like one of the only classic Zelda games that I really appreciate. I like the the, the first one. The first one's cool for what it is. Second one, uh, it was experimental, and I dug that as well. Um but like really for me, like the, the newer Zelda games are where it's at for me. I love I love Twilight Princess. I love Minish Cap. Um, Skyward Sword was... I think it was alright. Did you ever finish it? No. <laughs> well, there's another game that you quit. How many games have I quit? Actually? You said Xenoblade was the only one you quit. Oh, that's right, that's right. But yeah, I guess Skyward Sword. And uh, Skyward Sword. Minish Cap I'd like to play just to like see what, how, what it's like. It's really fun, dude. It's like the mechanics are... Maybe it's because it was like the first Zelda game I ever owned. Yeah, that's usually how it goes. The first Zelda game you play is your favorite. But yeah, so you're gonna want to give him bubble gum right there. Oh. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just like even even when I played it later in life, it was still like magical in a way that a lot of other Zelda games weren't. Mm -hmm. Like the aesthetic was really like pretty and and 
Oh, I guess that wasn't what you're supposed to do. Maybe you're supposed to talk to these knuckleheads. Because Tessie is supposed to come out. Yeah. Maybe I need to rest and wake up again. Yeah, yeah, go to, go to yeah. the, the soup tent. Soup tent? What are, your, what are you guys' favorite Zelda games? I mean, I've only played Ocarina and like half of Majora's Mask. Oh. I mean, I liked Majora's Mask a lot, but I didn't finish it, so I can't really see. Uh, Majora's Mask is my favorite for sure. Breath of the Wild is <laughs> close second. Hmm. Ocarina Time was really fun. For, it was the first time I ever really played it, so. Oh, cool. For me, I think my top three, Minish Cap on top, mm -hmm. then uh, Twilight Princess, and then probably... I, I don't think I've played as much as many Zelda games as like a lot of people have. Um, hmm. It either have to be Four Swords Adventures or Link to the Past. Wait, what did you you said? The uh, Majora's and Breath of the Wild. I spend a lot of hours on Breath of the Wild. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to see uh, Tessamungus now. There you go. Kick it, cool, cool. Give me some gum now. Kaki kuki ku, I'll take care of everything. But the translation wasn't clear. <laughs> he did, and Jeff did not hear gum. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Thus AIDS was born. <laughs> I love how derpy it looks. <laughs> Drown, bitch. <laughs> Crown pounds on it. <laughs> yeah. This sequence uh, was always really cute to me. I don't know, this mm. this game, as heavy as it gets, is really just aesthetically pleasing. <laughs> Pleasant. My top Very three is uh, Majora's, Breath of the Wild, and then probably Wind Waker. Mm. Oh, I've never played that one. We will. I've heard it's like one of the most magical of the Zelda games. We'll have you played on the channel. Uh, oh, okay. You can go fish and just talk. <laughs> we'll, we'll do it after... Um, Sonic Adventure. Oh my god, yes, I cannot wait for Sonic Adventure. <laughs> I can. <laughs> Dude, come on, man. Come on, man. You're just gonna play it and you're come gonna on, be fat. like, Wow, oh, Brandon's right. Come on, fat. Come on, fat. Okay. We'll do a push-up right here. We'll do a push-up for every sentence you said right now. <laughs> and you talk like a I, I, I feel like there's a 50% chance that you're right and that, like, my nostalgia, go nostalgia goggles will just be blown off of my skull Again? and I'll be like, Again? With Mario 64? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm now, telling you, now man. Now there's like a 60% chance uh, you mentioned it. <laughs> Stop but, ruining Sonic for everyone. <laughs> dude, speaking of, speaking of, um, I, shit, I just wanted to touch my computer for a sec, make sure it's still on. Um, but I got to show you guys this video. By, have you guys heard of... Oh, fuck. That's a goat. Have you guys heard of... Uh, I wonder how you got that one. Hmm. Have, you, goat. <laughs> <laughs> have you guys heard of a uh, super eye patch wolf? No. He Wait, says, I think I have. It, this is like logos, like it's like a wolf's head with an eye patch and has like a scar. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, he's he's this really cool YouTuber that does a whole bunch of stuff about like anime and video games and hmm. stuff like that. Um, but he did this video that I saw last night uh, called the bizarre modern reality of Sonic. Hmm. Uh, and it was actually fucking amazing. Like, uh, I. I walked into that because I, I saw the thumbnail in my feed and I was like, I mean, he's probably just going to go off about how Sonic fans are, are like just in every possible direction when it comes to artistic depravity and, and <laughs> confused, disturbing, disturbed confusion. Um, but it was actually like really weird to see like the mentality of this Sonic fan that was very disillusioned with how the company had taken the direction of the of the game franchise, um, and he also kind of del delves into how, like, how much fan created content there was back in like the early two thousands, and he talks about fucking uh, Super Mario Bros. Z, mm -hmm. and he talks about a whole bunch of those awesome fan projects. Oh, oh, the it's worthless a what? Worthless protoplasm. That's what I call myself. <laughs> well, on, I gotta show you guys that it's fucking amazing, like how. I don't know, just seeing all this amazing fan content that people have been making up to like the to the, like the modern age as it were. Uh, how a lot of like old Sonic like fan artists ended up creating like Sonic Mania and making illustrations and animations for it. Uh, I thought it was really cool. And I thought that Brandon especially would like it because he is in love with the blue furball. 
The blue fur ball. That's what he's called by Sega, right? <laughs> Something like that. The blue fur. The blue gur. <laughs> the blue gur. Everybody's favorite Invader Zim OC. It's like a... It's like... Uh, Brandon's relationship with Sonic is like a... It's like a marriage that's gone on too long. It's just like, yeah, I love it, but... Jesus, sometimes it's just so fun. <laughs> that's pretty accurate. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. I, I was really inspired watching it as somebody who was a fan of Sonic for like two years. Because mm -hmm. like, I had Sonic... Adventure, what? not Sonic. Uh, yeah, I had Sonic Adventure. I had Sonic Rush. No, Sonic Advance. Uh, the Game Boy Advance <laughs> games. I had two of them. They were fucking amazing. Um, oh, what's a rowdy mouse? It's rowdy before rowdy. Yeah, Sonic Advance games are pretty good. They were really fun. I don't know. I, I was a big fan for. Oof. Uh, I was a big fan for a while. So it's like, I don't know. Seeing that uh, was was really nice. That this guy kind of explained. The, the strange directions that the Sonic of the, the Hedgehog franchise went in. Should I just stopped? <laughs> Sega should have just stopped. Now we got Sonic Rangers coming out next year. What the fuck is Sonic Rangers? It's a new game coming out next year. Really? Mm -hmm. Is it going to be like Pokemon Rangers? Apparently, according to some leaks, it's going to be uh, oh, cool. like open world. Oh, what? Mm. You're like very inspired by Breath of the Wild. God, I hopefully that's, hopefully. that's another thing that Super Eye Patch Wolf talked about the Sonic cycle. They reveal a game, people go nuts about oh, it yeah. because they think that it might be cool. And it's not. They reveal more details, people become more lukewarm. Yeah. And then they yeah. reveal the game and everybody shits themselves in frustration. Yeah, I, I've, I've heard of that cycle many times. <laughs> Here, go back to the right. There was another. Oh, except except I gave up on the cycle on. since. Uh, probably Sonic 06. Pictures taken instantaneously. <laughs> I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Let's see that ass again. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Spread them. Dickle. <laughs> fuzzy dickle. <Yeah. laughs> I want a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest memories. <laughs> he just like hits his head on the cave. <laughs> he falls back down. <laughs> he falls back down, but he's still like spinning, so he's like creating a small hole in the He earth. drills the hole. The <laughs> Wait, why do you want me to go to the right? You want me to shake okay, that guy? There's a, there's a gift there. I don't know. I thought it might be of use. There's some good stuff in these weird dungeons. In the weird dungeons. Yeah, I think it was. After Sonic, I think it was when I tried playing Sonic Adventure as, you know, an adult. Yeah. When I was just like, God damn, this is fucking terrible. <laughs> I made Johnny play it and he, he couldn't. <laughs> yeah. He like, he's like, nah, I don't want to continue this. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is happening. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog is basically the fucking Fred Durst, but <laughs> slightly more likable. <laughs> Rolling, rolling, rolling. Didn't didn't Fred Durst direct this movie with John Travolta and he made John Travolta say, Oh yeah, Limp Biscuit's a really good band. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Poor John Travolta. The fact that he would even the fact that anyone would write that, like even if it's Limp Biscuit or not. Like but, the, Limp Biscuit has to have fans though, right? Of course, I've met yeah, them. There's fans of Limp Biscuit. Oh, by the way, eat some of your cookies just so you can gain health and uh and free up space in your inventory. I have ate, I ate most of my cookies. Oh, I didn't notice. My bad. Bread uh, roll? I have bread roll, though. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, HP are max the fuck out. Yeah, um, I haven't tried replaying Sonic Adventure 2 as an adult, so that might be a little rough, mm -hmm. but I do remember being generally really good. Huh. Sonic Heroes is a nightmare. <laughs> I can't wait. Um, Sonic Colors? What was that one? That, that they announced the remastered. Wait, what? What about it? Colors? What is it? Like, is it is it good? What's the premise? Like, it's pretty good. It's really short though, which is probably why it's good. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> it doesn't give them a chance to fuck it up. <laughs> yeah, basically. There's like, then there's like five worlds and like six levels per world or something. Hmm. That's a lot. Yeah, that, I mean that's more that's, than that's more time than I'd like to spend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for a Sonic game. <laughs> it looks good though. It's great compared to the Wii version. The Wii version looks so grainy because it was a Wii, and it's so small. Yeah. Sonic um, Unleashed is the one where like one version has like a terrible world map mechanic, and then the other version, like the 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 world map, is uh, like an actual hub. 
like a world hub that has fully fleshed out characters instead of like written dialogue yeah that was the um that was the xbox and playstation version versus the wii version the wii version had like point and click like hub i guess it was pretty cringe and then in the xbox and playstation version it was like a, like there were different there were many different hub worlds you can go to if, if sonic was an actual sentient being how do you think he'd feel about what about the direction that his life has taken he'd be as, like as oh yeah i'm 16. he'd be like that's <laughs> radical man that's right. <laughs> show him like the first page of Deviant Art when you look up Sonic the Hedgehog. And he's like, not cool, <laughs> not cool, <laughs> not cool. He just freaks out and he dies. <laughs> it's a, it's a chili dog, but the but the the dog is the the hot dog is just a gun, and he's like, <laughs> way past cool. <laughs> this isn't cool anymore, guy. <laughs> I gotta go fast to the other side. <laughs> <laughs> Stun gun. Gotta die fast. You can Let's equip see. that, right? Oh, or is dude, it you have a whole bunch of other uh, guns. You might want to check how good they are. Oh yeah, no. stun gun. What is the other one you had? You had like a the pop gun, like a you, it, well, you had, broken air gun. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You have, you have to sleep. That. Yeah. That. Yeah. 